So coming into whatever posture is best for you. For this evening. For this evening's meditation, I thought I would touch on the theme from last night about directing the attention and then tie it together with this practice of recognizing the conditioned mind. So begin by simply noticing without judgment where the attention is. Perhaps the attention is on particular emotions. Perhaps the attention is on particular thought forms. Simply notice without any judgment. Perhaps your attention's on sensation. Or the breath. In this moment, I'm simply inviting you to notice where the attention is landing. So often the attention is habitually bouncing from thing to thing to thing. Last week we discussed the power of placing your attention where you want it to be. In this moment, rather than directing the attention to an anchor in this moment like the breath or sensation or sound. For this meditation, I want to invite you to let the attention rest.
So if you picture a flashlight for a moment, the light of the flashlight is your attention. With no practice at all, this light might be bouncing all over the place, bouncing around the conditioned mind, the mind that's shaped by society, culture, friends, church, sanghas. With no practice, the attention might simply bounce from thing to thing to thing unnoticed. Then we begin practice. Many of us learn this technique of having an anchor. And we study the attention by directing it to an object, just a more subtle one. So rather than thoughts of past or future, now we might direct the attention to the breath or to sensation. or to sound, so it's as though that light in the flashlight is landing on one of those anchors on the object. If the attention has been running around all over the place, this steadying practice can be so very helpful. As I said last week, it's empowering to refine our skill to place our attention where we want it to be. But for tonight, I want to invite resting. So for tonight's meditation, take off the cloak of discipline. If we return to this analogy of the flashlight, visualize the light rather than being directed to an object like the breath or sound. Visualize the light drawing back into the flashlight itself. We're allowing the attention to rest in awareness.
And then again, without judgment, notice where the attention is. Since I invited this prompt of resting the attention, has it risen up out of awareness again and landed on a specific object? Not bad, not wrong, if it has. Simply notice. And then gently and lovingly give the attention permission to rest in being. This approach to meditation doesn't emphasize doing in any form. This approach allows being to shine. Rather than focusing, focusing the attention or freeing the attention. Sri Ramana Maharshi spoke about sinking the mind into the heart. Or I might say, resting the conditioned mind in the heart of awareness.
with no judgment at all, simply notice, is there any part of you that resists resting in being? Again, not bad, not wrong. Helpful to see though, not so you can attempt to get rid of whatever this resistance is, but rather so that you can offer a more welcoming invitation. To come home. Home to being. Again, for this meditation, release the striving. free the discipline. Surrender the efforting. This, friends, is about allowing. Allowing the attention to rest in its source.
In this approach, there's nothing to do. And more importantly, no one to do it. Simply rest. Simply be.
inviting folks to take three of the longest and deepest inhalations and exhalations you've taken yet today as we close this meditation out. Thank you so much, George. Really feeling the fullness of the breath all the way from tip of the head to the tip of the toes. Thank you, friends.